Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about how to do a chameleon paint job with spray cans. So what we're gonna be painting today is the back of this guitar body. Hopefully you can see it properly. I know it's got some white crap on it, but uh, that's not gonna be a problem. We're just gonna paint the back so I can show you how this chameleon stuff works. Now, this is made by Rust-Oleum. It's actually a pretty expensive can. It just says color shift on it. Uh, and this one goes, I think, from blue to purple with a little bit of teal in it. These cans, when I got this one, it was about $30 Canadian, so more expensive than your average can. But really, any kind of chameleon color that you're looking at, it's gonna be a bit on the pricey side, so. If you want a chameleon paint job, that's the price you pay, so to speak. And this stuff is just some matte black. The chameleon paint, particularly uh, these colors, just look on the can when you're buying them so you know what to base them in. This works over black. It doesn't really work over anything else. Um, you can put it over predominant, like any predominantly dark color, but black is what they recommend, so that's what we're gonna use. So once I get this based out in the black, and you guys have seen me paint guitars a million times, so I'm just gonna kinda jump right into that. We'll move on to the chameleon color. The idea is the more coats you build up, the stronger the effect. So we're gonna do three coats of that, try and get a nice kind of vibrant, dark but vibrant looking chameleon job. And then we'll, uh, we'll film, up, film it from some different angles and you'll be able to kinda see what we're looking at. So I'm just gonna finish shaking up this can because it's brand new. Throw on my mask and we'll get started. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so that's really about all there is to it. Um, it's got a nice pearlescent finish to it, some good sparkle, and a pretty strong color shift when all said and done. It's kind of tough to see it in here because we've got pretty much the worst lights you can have for this, big fluorescent bulbs 20 feet above me. But uh, I'll bring this over to you in a second. It's a, it's a bit on the wet side right now. We'll try and get some good B-roll of it, but uh, I'll bring it over and you know do that silly thing I do where I change the angle in front of the camera and we'll see if you can get kind of a full look at the effect. Again, with these lights, you probably won't pick up the sparkle uh, as well as you might otherwise be able to, but it's not a great day outside, so I can't take it out into the sunlight anyway. And I don't want everybody out there to think I'm a friggin' weirdo, so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I'll bring it over. All right, so without getting paint all over my hands here. Wow, well, geez, I mean, there's a pretty stunning example right there. This face looks blue. This looks purple, obviously they're the same paint. Now that looks blue, right? So that's, a, like I said, a pretty prominent chameleon, oh, that's my face, okay. Pretty prominent chameleon effect on there. And you can, of course, clear coat over this. It's just like your average Rust-Oleum acrylic, except three times more expensive. So there's no reason why you can't protect that the same way you would any other uh, Rust-Oleum paint job. And yeah, I think it's a pretty, pretty stunning effect. It comes out in a decent gloss by itself, but I mean, if you're throwing thirty dollars worth of spray can at something, you're probably going to want to protect it with, uh, you know, with a cheaper clear coat or even an expensive one, so that you don't end up wrecking it. Anyway, I hope this clears up how to do chameleon paint jobs with spray cans for you guys. I know a lot of people have been asking for this. Uh, I, I understand why it would be a popular choice. It's a pretty brilliant effect. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked it, please feel free to give it a thumbs up so it's easier for other people to find. YouTube would be more likely to recommend it to everyone else. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you next time.